Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Logan from Logan for Liberty and today I want to talk about the hashtag evolve the definition of masculine. If you don't know what that is, it's this video where these men read the definition of masculine which is having qualities or appearance traditionally associated with men, especially strength and aggressiveness. And then they read the synonyms which are virile, Macho, manly, muscular, muscly, strong, strapping, well-built, rugged, robust, brawny, heavily built, powerful, red-blooded, vigorous, hunky, informal, testosterone and mannish, boyish, unfeminine, unwomanly, Amazonian, it goes on. And I was watching this video and I couldn't help but laugh because these men were like, well, none of those sound like me. Obviously, none of those sound like you. If you know anything about the human condition, if you know anything about the spectrum of which humans exist on, which ranges from extremely feminine to extremely masculine, it, and th there's a wide spectrum, there are many different appearances that a man can have. These, they, they're taking these synonym, synonyms and they're pretending as if they are literal alternative words to masculine. They're not. They're words, they are words that are similar. Not every man is macho. But on average, if you're looking at a man and you're comparing a man to a woman, they will appear macho. That's on average. A man will appear manly when comparing it to what? When comparing him to what? A woman. A man will look muscular when comparing an average man to what? An average woman. On average, most men are strong compared to what? Again, women. On average, typically men are heavier built, especially on the shoulders and the chest. They're more barrel chested compared to what? Most women. They're usually more rugged with facial hair. They're usually more vigorous and aggressive because of testosterone. So this hashtag change the definition thing, it seems almost like it's stemming from a social constructionist postmodernist view of the way we use words and the way men are portrayed. The average man has these qualities when compared to a woman. Now if you compare a man to these words, on the surface if you're not comparing them to a reference point, which is important. Reference points are extremely crucial, especially when you're trying to tell the difference between something. That's how you, for example, calculate growth. That's how you calculate speed. That's how you determine uh, progress. You need a reference point, a starting point. And in human evolution, the starting point is from, there's two main ways that I can think of. From a boy to a man. That's one way. A 12 year old boy isn't going to be muscular, strong or well built or rugged or brawny or powerful compared to a 25 year old man. Does that make sense? So that is a reference point. You become more masculine as you grow up typically. Another reference point is by comparing the average man to the average woman. Does that make sense? That is another reference point. Language is extremely important. Okay, we need these words to describe things. We should not change the definition of masculine because it's pointless. It does nothing. If anything, it blurs the lines between men and women a little too much. Obviously, there are women who are muscular, who are aggressive, who are well-built, and of course, some are rugged and some are macho, but that's not typical of all women. Therefore, masculine is a word that is generally given to people who are masculine, which is usually men. On average, there is a reason why we say, hey, that guy's a little feminine, that girl is a little masculine, is because there is a spectrum of personalities and an equation of many different variables that can affect the way a human being looks or behaves. But if we're, again, if we're going by averages, masculine as a word is necessary and is accurate. Have a good day. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more content, don't forget to subscribe so you can check back and see more future videos regarding politics and culture. While you're at it, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when a new video is uploaded. Also, check out my links to my Facebook and Twitter in the description box below. Ooh.